Today we're going to do a how-to video on how to install your idler hub and all the parts onto a standard axle. What you'll be getting in your kit will be a idler hub with the races pre-installed, inner and outer race. You'll get the outer bearing, you'll get the inner bearing, you'll get the grease seal, You'll have the dust cap. Also comes with five of the half inch lug nuts to install your wheels and tires on. And it'll also come with the marine grease that is used to grease the assembly. Now the tools you'll need to install the hub onto your axle will be a set of channel locks, a hammer, a nice block of wood you'll probably have laying around your garage somewhere and it does get pretty greasy when you grease the bearings, so a good supply of shop towels would work out for you also. Now to install the idler hub on your axle, we ship the axle, it'll actually come like it is shown here, but it will have a tube on the end and it will have grease inside there to protect that spindle from getting any damage to it. So the first thing you wanna do is unwrap it, take the tube off, uh, and then what you wanna do is take out the cotter pin, just squeeze the ends together, and that should slide right out. And then what you'll do is it has a castle nut on it. You'll just unscrew that castle nut. Set that aside. And then you'll have this D washer. And the reason they call it is a D washer, you can see it's shaped like a D. It has one flat side to it. And that'll line up with the flat side on the spindle here. Now with all that off, what you want to do is take one of your paper towels and you can see we've, we've taken off quite a bit of the grease, but I left a little on there because that's how it sometimes will come. So what you want to do is, and we use a red grease when it's shipped to you. So what you want to do is try to get most of that off. And the reason is the grease, the marine grease that we send with it is actually a different type of grease. So you really don't want to mix greases on there. So just try to wipe off as much of the red grease as you can. Okay, the next step is you would take your idler hub, and if you'll notice, it has the inner race already pre-installed, the outer race. So what you want to do is take the marine grease that we send with it, and you'll take some of that out of here, and you'll just put it on your finger and rub it all along the race. You can get quite a bit of amount, amount on there, it won't hurt anything. And then what you want to do is take your inner bearing and then take the grease and you'll just take a lot of it and you'll really want to put it in there as much as you can. Since this is a standard axle, it's not an easy lube, so you won't be able to pump grease in it. With the standard axle, you'll really want to pack this bearing really well with a lot of grease. Now we also do sell a bearing packer separately on our website that you can use for this purpose, but you could do it just by hand if it work out the same way, but just remember to put a lot of grease in there. And then once you got a lot put in there, squeeze it through the rollers. Make sure you got good coverage. And then what you want to do is go ahead and drop it into the race. And it'll seat right into the race. Get some of the grease off my hands here. And then what we're going to do is you got your grease seal. What you'll do with that is you're going to want to install that. Once you put your bearing, your inner bearing in there, put your grease seal right on top there. And this is where the block of wood will come in handy. You'll take this block of wood. And the reason you'll use that is you really don't want to tap and dent the, the seal. And you also want to put it equal pressure all the way around so it'll go in easy. It's a good press fit. So then we'll take the hammer. And then what we'll just do is start tapping around sort of tap around the circumference. You'll notice it's going in. And actually you'll be able to, what's nice is when you're hammering this, you'll be able to feel a solid thumping once it's completely installed correctly. So that's the easiest way to know that it's installed correctly. Now your seal, you can see, is installed correctly. And what we'll do, get some more of the marine grease and put it onto the, put a lot on there. 
and as I mentioned, you want to try to put as much as you can on there. I'm probably not going to put as much, so you might want to put a lot more than I'm putting on here. But just to give you an idea, we'll lube, lube it up there pretty good. <clears throat> and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this idler hub, and then what you'll do is just slide the seal over there, and then just keep going. And then once you hit where it's going to seal, you just go ahead and push it on, and then that seal will seal it back right there. And then on the front, what you'll want to do is I'm going to take a little more grease, put it on that bearing race, just like we did on the inner bearing. Put some on the race in there. <clears throat> and then we're going to take the smaller outer bearing. And again, we're going to really make sure we put a lot of grease in there. Make sure you really get a liberal amount all in through there. And then what you'll go ahead and do is just slide this on until it lines up with the race. There we go, you got it started like that. Then we'll take the D-ring, and it's a D-ring, it has that flat surface that you want to line up on the spindle. Put your D-ring after the outer bearing's installed. Then you'll take your castle nut, go ahead and tighten down your castle nut. And once it starts getting tight, take your channel locks, Put your channel locks on there. And just go ahead and tighten that nut so you have no play in there. And then what you want to do is when you tighten this, you should snug it down to where it'll push in and seat the bearings correctly. And then what you want to do is once you get it tight, then just back it off. You'll see there's a hole for the cotter pin. What you want to do is just back that nut off to where you can get that hole to line up. And we're just about, yeah, just about right there. And then we'll take the cotter pin. We'll go ahead and slide that down. There's the hole right there. Go ahead and slide that cotter pin through there. There you go. Just bend that out of the way. Your last part you want to put on is your dust cap, and that'll be the same way. You'll just take this, you don't want to, you can tap on the cap, but the best way again is to put the block of wood on it so you get even force. And then with the block of wood on here, Just like that. And then you'll know the cap is on because it has this little ledge on it and that'll go right up against the hub. So then you can see that your idler hub is all ready to go. And that's it for installing the idler hub on the standard axle.